Hello, Jules. Hi, this is uh, Mersa from The Upcoming. Lovely to meet you. Um, so the film is based on a personal story, right? Um, what was it like to recreate that story? Was it an emotional process? It was, yes, yeah, I mean, it was an emotional process. What was interesting was seeing um, the actresses uh, like Sally next door to me because we became like a gang, really. And so when I saw it come to life, I, I, did, I did react quite emotionally, actually. But it was good because I think they liked that because they could see, you know, we were all, you know, we were all in it together. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was an emotional experience. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you're a director. You've got to get the job done and be professional about it. So, obviously, I concentrated on that. But, yeah, it was. Would you say the message is to seize the day? Yeah, absolutely. The message is very much to seize the day. And also um, about new beginnings. I think that's very important. And to never believe anything other than you are capable and good enough to do whatever you want, which is a very important message to women in uh, midlife. I think, you know, it's taken quite a long time for society to sort of grasp that, you know, that we can kind of do whatever we want. But um, so I, I, I was very keen to make sure that came across, particularly at the end, which I obviously won't say any more about. But Thelma and Louise was one of the inspirations to me um, in making the film. And, you know, I love that message. Even though they're going off the cliff, the car is going upward. And, you know, I, I made sure that I looked, I looked at those shots and did very similar shot listing for us. So you got the same uplifting feeling. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a message of many things and also of grief, uh, but it's a message of hope. And I think that's very important at the moment that we, we have that, obviously coming out of COVID, that you can see the possibilities of getting back to life and normality. And this film is a case in point because it's a perfect night out for um, friends to go and celebrate their friendships or mothers and daughters, or, you know, men as well. A lot of men really want to come and see this. So it's a great opportunity to come and drink and laugh and cry and sing, you know, a banging soundtrack that you can hear in the background. Actually, there's a big need for feel-good films at the moment. Is that uh, something, is that a genre that you think you'll stick with, explore more with? I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd really like to make a musical. That's always been my ambition to make a musical, so I'd be thrilled to do that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm developing a project now that's similar. It's kind of bittersweet, and it's about women in their 50s again, but a musical would be a joy. And I think you're right, everybody needs feel-good films, particularly at the moment. And this is, you know, definitely the feel-good film of the summer, without a doubt. What are your hopes for the film industry or your predictions? My hopes are to continue now as a film director and carry on doing that for many years. And like I said, you know, I kind of know the films that I want to make. And also, obviously, there's a lot of very, very good TV. Um, and in terms of the film industry itself, I, I, I don't think it's going to go away. I don't, I, I don't buy into this idea that things are going to be difficult because there's a huge appetite for material and everybody wants to see things on TV. Obviously, we know that from lockdown and you know everybody watching so much. But there's still this massive appetite to get out there and go to the cinema. And this is, this is the perfect film to go and do that to, obviously. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you.